Are you feeling unmotivated? Trust me, my friend, you are absolutely not alone. The spark is still within you. Literally, you clicking this video is a sign that there's still potential. There's still that spark within you. You just need a little bit of help to ignite it and to spark that flame. Right? We all have those days when we're feeling unmotivated, like we're just in a slump. You know, our interests, our goals are no longer fun anymore things that we're doing we no longer want to do them we've all been now i just want to let you know that it's gonna be okay you know things are gonna work out and what if i told you that hitting rock bottom is the first step before you become your best hit rock bottom you have to lose things in life to know what for you to realize you know what i deserve better things are gonna get better and things do get better for example a flower think of the best flower you know like a sunflower all right the sun the sun is, is such beautiful weather but it needs rainy days it needs rainy days for it to grow and for it to nourish so i need you take to take a deep breath <sighs> comment down below and tell yourself things are gonna work out things are gonna get better so, this dry season it's gonna be freezing like Rick Ross said, it's gonna be freezing, okay? It's gonna be dry. You're gonna not see no signs of growth, but every day you get a little better. Every day you're getting a little bit better, okay? During this season, I need you to show gratitude. I need you to do it. I need you to be grateful for that one little thing, whether it's having your own bedroom or having food on the table or having good weather or being in a country where it's civilized i need you to have that little bit of gratitude and i want you to ask yourself why are you feeling this way literally i want you to ask yourself now why are you feeling this way because this it doesn't come out of nothing you're not enjoying your goals anymore why are you feeling this way i need you to find the root and to uproot it whether it's gonna be going to therapy or praying or journaling i want you to start small start small if you don't feel like doing your homework if you don't feel like starting that business today if you don't feel like doing what it is that you know that you need to do i need you to start small whether it's washing the dishes you know doing the gardening whatever little thing it is i want you to start small and trust me when i tell you when you start doing small little things you'll progress into doing bigger things and that's where the motivation comes from but guess what it's not about motivation sometimes sometimes it's not about motivation it's about discipline it's about waking up in the morning when it's cold and you know you have to go to work that's discipline that is discipline when you're like, oh, I have to edit a video. That is discipline. And I cannot tell you how to become disciplined. Trust and believe that having discipline is all about having this willpower. Having that thing that it motivates you to do it every day. Whether it's your children, whether it's your goals, whether it's your circumstances because you don't want to live in the same way. I need you to find that discipline within yourself, okay? Like, for example, drinking alcohol, like that all goes towards your health, you know. It may give you some short-term pleasure, but think about the long-term. In everything, think about the long-term. Think about what, what, what is this going to do for me in five years? Is it gonna benefit me? If not, then stop. Find that willpower to stop. Pray about it. This YouTuber, I forgot his name. I put his name somewhere. But he has this challenge where you stop either drinking alcohol, watching naughty videos on the internet, um, scrolling, eating sugar, and what was the other one? There was another one I forgot, but pick one. You don't have to do all, you know, go on some crazy monk mode. You don't. Just pick one. Me, I've chose to stop scrolling. One of the main reasons why you're probably feeling unmotivated is because your dopamine levels are probably super, super duper fried. And yeah, so cutting out sugar, alcohol, smoking, watching stuff on the internet, 
that you know you shouldn't be watching. You gotta cut it all out. You gotta look at your routine. What is it that you're doing first thing in the morning? Are you scrolling on the internet? Are you comparing yourself? Are you just eating junk food? Are you smoking? Are you drinking alcohol every day? That's probably one of the main reasons why you're feeling unmotivated. That's why I'm saying you have to find the root. So I'm saying you literally have to find the root and see what it is that's causing you to feel unmotivated. Like life, you could literally die tomorrow. Think about like things that you could have accomplished. Like tomorrow isn't promised. That's what I'm saying. Be grateful every single day. The little things, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care if you've gone through a heartbreak. All your friends have dropped you. Wake up still every day. Prove to yourself that you're no punk just because you're going through this situation. I'm going to give up. If you know that you want to do something and everyone's saying, uh, I don't know, you should do this, even though they have no clue about it. Go ahead and do it. Do your research. Start a skill. Start a business. If you're not really an entrepreneurial person, um, go into the educational route. Do volunteering. Work with kids in different countries. Build shelters. There's so many things that we can do on this earth. And sometimes, yeah, don't take this life too serious because think about it. We are... We are literally a dot compared to the sun, compared to so many planets. We're literally on a floating rock. Remember that every single day. I promise you, you're going to look at life so differently. So when a little bill comes here, I see a little bit of depth. I'm not letting this depth, I'm not letting this bill define me because no, I'm a human being that was created in the image of God and I have so much potential. I'm not going to let no little bill stress me out. So yeah, just know your 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 worth, know your purpose, okay? I know things may look hard right now, but things have that in your heart, things are gonna get better. Okay, literally it doesn't matter what's in your bank account. If you still have that rich girl mindset, you still have the abundant mindset, trust me, you're gonna attract no one can tell you anything. As long as you're good on the inside, no one can tell you anything. The mind is so powerful. Don't underestimate this, okay? You can change it like that, okay? When things are looking down, stop being grateful for everything. Start, you know, being around high-frequency people. Do high-frequency things, okay? Stop doing low-frequency activities like smoking, drinking, watching bad stuff on the internet, okay? Start doing things. Go for run, run go for a walk outside okay start small it doesn't have to be this crazy monk mode this you have to wake up at 5 a.m and go to the gym no do what's for you and then you will start progressing in yourself bit by bit sorry these past three weeks i have not been uploading okay and i love to upload i don't know what was going on but i believe it was the spirit of laziness that spirit do not underestimate it once you start feeling it rebuke it rebuke it in your faith I rebuked it in Jesus' name over and over. Literally, it's not it's not no joke. You have to find the source where it is that is causing you to not do your goals, do your favorite things, okay? Literally, I had to like force myself, not even force myself, but just keep saying I'm gonna record, I'm gonna record, I'm gonna record, I'm gonna record tomorrow, I'm gonna record tomorrow. Like I really set my mind to it. I just feel like the spur of laziness was like trying to stop me from doing what I love and I couldn't let it win. Like, no, I'm not going to let it win. So I had to, you know, pray and do something about it. So find what it is for you and do it as soon as possible. Like, don't wait tomorrow because you're just going to keep leaving it on. So, yeah, literally with my situation, I just picked up the camera and said, okay, just record literally as I'm driving, okay? I don't usually make content like this, you know? I do blogs and stuff. I do vlogs. But, you know, I do give out good advice. So let me know if you like videos like this. You're feeling unmotivated. You're probably watching this in bed right now. And maybe your room's messy. Like I said, start small, clean your room little by little, clean your room and then you're going to be like, oh, what else needs to be done? Oh, I got to do my homework. I feel, you know, some sort of like strength to do it now. So go ahead and do it. Think about your favorite film. Yeah. If the, if your favorite character was just, just, it was just the same. It was just the same all the time. They were in the same routine. Things were always up. 
it's going to be boring. Trust and believe it's going to be boring. You know when the, the plot just goes like downhill, that's when things get interesting. They're like, oh no, what's the character going to do? Like, what's going to happen? Life is a movie. Life is a movie. You can literally create anything that you want. You can literally create your own reality. You just got to shift. You got to see things differently. You don't take life too, too serious. Like, maybe it's that childlike mindset that I still have because I don't take too many things serious. I'm just like, God, you know the future. That's all I need to worry about, okay? So if you're feeling unmotivated, like I keep saying, I'm probably repeating myself, this video's all over the place, but I know someone needs to watch this. If you click this, this was a sign. If you're feeling unmotivated, start small. Start looking at your life long term. Start saying, if I'm going to still stay in this bed all day, am I going to change anything? Am I going to make a positive change? No. Start changing your life today. Want better for yourself today. Things are going to work out. Things are going to get better. Tell yourself, remind yourself each and every day things are going to get better. Say positive affirmations to say that I'm a child of God, say that I am abundantly wealthy, say I'm beautiful, say things are going to get better because I trust and believe in that. You have to trust and believe that things are going to work out. You need to have a high vibration, you need to have a high frequency, okay? This life is crazy, like this, especially the spiritual side, so don't underestimate, okay? Right, I'm about to go to the gym, my favorite little hobby yeah find you a hobby okay if your favorite character didn't have a hobby would you even watch like this video please comment down below things are gonna get better or comment down below what challenge you're gonna do are you gonna quit sugar for 30 days are you gonna quit watching naughty things are you gonna quit alcohol are you gonna quit smoking comment all down below okay we're on this growth journey it's never too late the only right time to start is now literally now whatever it is if you have to throw away whatever it is that you need to do, you know what it is you need to do. And don't you dare say, I'm going to start tomorrow. I need you to start now. If you're starting now, come in an emoji, like come in a green emoji. All right, let's go. Let's get better. Let's get rich. This 2024. All right. All right, you guys, please like the video. I'm going to be uploading more. I know I've been gone. Please like, subscribe and do all that nice stuff. We've got six more months come on six more months at the end of the month i need you to be a different person okay so six months if you need to rewatch the video take some little notes here and there do what you gotta do all right you guys love you bye